<clears throat> Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to another little uh, throwback here. Another quick one, another classic horror of sorts with a uh, Vincent Price film. But before we dive in, if you enjoy this content, please uh, you know, give me a thumbs up and consider both subscribing and hitting that little bell icon to get notifications for when I put up new content, which is usually once or twice a week, though occasionally I do work in a third. Stick around to the end and share both this channel and video around as it really does help out the channel quite a bit. Okay. A lot of thunder happening right now, so I have to hurry through this one because I don't know how long I'll have power. I live in Florida, and those Florida summer storms have just started hitting us pretty hard. Anyways, um, back to it. Vincent Price. Um, one really creepy guy. Um, somehow he comes across... It, you know, it's like charming at the same time. It's really strange. I've covered two other films of his previously with um, The Monsters Club and um, The Last Man on Earth, both of which I will link to at the end of this video. Uh, for this one, I'm going to be touching on an interpretation of an Edgar Allan Poe story in the 1961 film, The Pit and the Pendulum, the synopsis for which is as follows. In the 16th century, Francis Bernard travels to Spain to clarify the strange circumstances of his sister's death after she had married the son of a cruel Spanish inquis inquisitor. So going off of this interpretation alone and not making comparisons to the original story or any of the works that have followed, though there is a version with uh, Lance Henriksen from around 1991, which I may check out soon, this one's quite interesting. So the synopsis just kind of scratches the surface of the initial setup of this film. Um, as it moves on, what we have is basically a man, this uh, Nicholas Medina, played by Vincent Price. Um, Sorry, more loud lightning there. Um, who's kind of mourning the uh, the loss of his wife who had accidentally been killed by way of one of the torture devices in the bowels of his castle, basically. These were there from his father who, as an inquisitor, um, had used them to torture people in the past. So, you know, he's sad about her passing, embarrassed about his family history. You know, he's got a lot of, a lot of guilt kind of built up about what his father had done in the past. But um, slowly, this is kind of being fleshed out that Perhaps she wasn't really dead after all. Um, that when they interred her in her tomb, she was in fact still alive. Um, they just misdiagnosed, they thought she was dead. And that she most likely spent the last living moments of her life trying to claw her way out in complete agony. So once this kind of comes to light, um, this obviously has uh, Price's character um, pretty distraught and slowly just the thought of this along with some strange happenings, um, which are explained away as her spirit kind of, you know, haunting this castle drives him mad. He absolutely loses his mind. So um, Price plays this with excellence. Um, he did a great job coming across as slowly becoming more and more unhinged um, to the point where he's hallucinating and taking on the persona of his father, who it is revealed um, had killed Price's mother and uncle, I believe it was, after discovering or assuming that they were um, having an affair. So um, there are some really nice twists and turns thrown into this one, um, worth sticking around to the end for. But ultimately, this is an older film, you know, so it's a very slim runtime at only about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, so it's an easy one to just hop and check out. And speaking of check out, told you this would be a, uh, a quick one here. Um, I think I'm about to lose power soon. Thanks for checking out this latest video of mine. So currently, uh, Pit and the Pendulum is available on Tubi, which has very little commercial interruptions. Um, also, this was the uh, production by American International Pictures, um, also known as AIP, which was directed by Robert, uh, Roger Corman. And um, over the years, there have been several other interpretations of the story, as well as the Lance Henriksen, uh, the Lance Henriksen one that I mentioned from uh, 1991, which is also available on Tubi. And at the time of this video, it's also on Peacock and I believe Shudder. So I will likely want to be checking out that one as well. But um, I want to throw in a few more films, kind of get a little bit away from this one so it's not as fresh in my mind and hop in to see what this version with uh, Lance Hendrickson has to bring to it. But anyways, um, thanks again for sticking around for this quick retro review for The Pit and the Pendulum from uh, 1961. And also thanks for sticking around to the end as, um, you know, being sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things really help out the channel quite a bit. Thanks, and I will see you in the next one, if I have power.